welcome everybody welcome to another lecture in algorithmic analysis so in this lecture actually i will discuss <coughs> uh, binary search tree okay so uh, actually this is a review of data structure so uh, <coughs> these are the content uh, we will cover quickly so what is a binary search tree keying a binary search tree insertion and deletion operation and randomly build binary search tree okay so let's go to the book chapter i know this is page number 307 okay so this is chapter 12 of the book and we will discuss okay okay so i as usual i will cover both book chapters and uh, PowerPoint slides and also I will uh, discuss the implementation of my BST with <coughs> Java and C sharp programming language. Okay. So uh, we will discuss defi the definition of binary search tree, tree and implementation of binary search tree and analysis of uh, binary search tree. Okay. So as we know that in our previous two lectures we discussed stack, key and linked list uh, data structure right so those are actually mm, uh, we call linear data structures okay and but a tree the tree BST or tree we will discuss tree is a non-linear data structure. So this you can definitely remember that tree is non-linear data structure. Okay. So in which elements are organized into a hierarchy, not one after another. Okay. And it is composed a set of nodes, and in which the elements are stored and okay, and also some edges that are connect one node to another node. Okay. So let us go with some pictures. So a picture. So this is called a, this is a node this is a node this is a node and this is an ace this is an ace okay this is another ace this is another ace so is uh, the connection between nodes okay and nodes are actually uh, the objects that actually contains values okay and link okay so and then another there are some terminology that we should be familiar with another term which is path path is, is this is a root okay we're coming so this is called root and from either from a root or from one node to another uh, node if we go uh, <coughs> if we move around then this is the dash line this is called path okay so this is this could be another path and this could be another path this could be another path okay there can be multiple paths in a tree okay and the top element is is called root and this is left child and this is right child and okay uh, this is another subtree and this is all can be entire one can be another subtree and this one can be another subtree okay actually the top node is called a tree and a tree has only one root okay so and then uh, parent okay parent actually uh, any node except actually except the root okay that has uh, children some some uh, at least one child or uh, children that is called a parent here B is a parent of both B and E D is a parent of H okay and e, D and E are called also child okay and also children okay so B is is called the left child of B and E is called the right child of B Okay. and these are the leaves that the, these nodes that the no, that do not have any 
uh, animal child okay these are called leaf okay. and uh, so these are not leaf okay so these 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 this B B and E B B and B okay and A these are not called these are not called leaf okay here leaf is H E I J and and Z okay so these these are simple but please give attention they will get some test some quiz questions from this and sub tree from a tree we can make another another sub sub tree so in the left left area we can have a sub tree from here and we can so have a sub tree from here and we can have another sub tree here okay whereas level okay level of a particular node refers to the how many generations generations or generation of a particular node mm, is from the root okay for instance if we consider i or f or c okay so we see that c is one one uh, is c has one is right so to connect to a which is a root so this level is one and from f to a if we consider a path so it has two edges right f to c and c to a so it's level two and then and similarly i and j these have level three okay and one thing is remember that root has one is level zero okay and root cannot have level one two or three okay so now we will consider binary search tree okay is is in shortcut it is called bst okay as a tree so bst is, is definitely a tree but there are some uh, some special uh, criteria of bst we will come there okay so uh, and definitely it is a tree so it will uh, have all of the properties of a tree and in a, in addition to this a bst has is some special features one of the special features is that it has at most two children okay if a tree has at most two children you see that any parent node for any parent node it has it may have exactly two children okay at most two, uh, sorry at most two children it may have some of them uh, may have one this one this d has one child okay so and then b has two ch two children and a has two children c has two children f has two children okay and uh, so if there is a there, is, there are children then it will it can be maximum two children okay okay that is called it's one criteria one of the features of bst okay this another feature of bst is that okay another feature of bst is that any left uh, Okay. Any left child has value less than its right child. Okay, and also definitely its parent. For a parent has the, uh, the uh, greatest value, and then left child has value less than child right child value for anyone. Okay. So if we consider that grade, if we consider this grading system, for instance, if we consider A is the highest grade, then B, okay, uh, then B on the left, 
maybe grading is not appropriate here or we can say a and then b and then actually for number we can we can explain this with the numbers okay so this is another property of binary uh, search tree that the nodes for any nodes left child must have a value less than its parent and uh, nodes right value must have a value greater than uh, or equal to its parent okay okay so maybe let me clear this okay so for any right child has will be will have value greater than its, its parent and left child value will be less than its, its parent okay and definitely if so then the left child value is uh, will be less than the right child value okay so this is the great, great so this is the most one between a b and c so if c is greater than a and a is greater than b so definitely b is, is less than c or c is greater than c is greater than b okay And these are the properties of DST that uh, each node contains these attributes T, left, right, and P means pointer. So if we want to implement this using C++ language, then we need a pointer. And this is the property of DST. Key of left subtree of any node X is less equal to key of X and is uh, less or equal is is less or equal to key of right sub t okay but x is a, a node it's a minor sub t so let us check this whether this is a bst or not okay so according to the features of bst so every right node has value is greater than is is root is parent okay so every right child has value greater than its parent so here 72 is greater than 53 right and then 84 is greater than 72 and here 61 is less than 7 72 but you see that 61 is also greater than for all of the left side values all of the left side values so here 30 30 is less than 53 and 39 is is greater than 30 but 47 is greater than 39 so here we have 61 right side right and one of the in the right sub tree if you consider the right sub tree here so for we have 61 so what is the greatest value that this side may have please pause this video for a second and think about that what is the greatest value for this uh, left sub g may have it may have six zero right six zero. okay and one thing that it could be 60 but okay so it's not 60 actually it, it means less it must be less than 53 okay so the must be it's less than 53 so it can be the this value another it has another child this value can be maximum 52 okay sorry not 60 52 similarly this value of this side this value it, it, it has another uh, another parent another child so this value this child have can have maximum value 29 so you may get some uh, quiz question from this okay okay now it is time let us go to the book and then um, the book has this discussion in detail so i like you to read the book please okay so read the book and then slide and then I think we'll, we'll clear, get more information. Okay. So
now uh, there are some operations uh, on, on BST there are some operations such as the most common operation is called traversal that means traversing or going through uh, the nodes or elements of a BST so there are three kinds of traversal it's called in water okay or pre water and mm, post water okay so in water so in other words uh, other words it is called in order tree work okay pre order is called pre order tree work and then post order is called post order tree work so how do we uh, we walk through uh, these different ways okay it's, it's easy to remember okay so this is the algorithm for in order traversal but in shortcut remember this way that in order so we will consider the, the root element okay so root element in order means okay you see the algorithm it says so let us see the algorithm first so it says al if the algorithm is empty then it, it needs to be written then it's nothing to traverse right else so it says in order traverse the left subtree and then visit the node and it says again it says in order traverse the right subtree so what does it mean so we will consider the the root we will start from the root okay so root over here is a right so in order traversal okay remember that root will be in between so in between what in between there are so on if we consider a root over here right so on the left side this side there is one, one subtree and on the right side there is in the right side there is another subtree right in the, this side okay so here what we will say we will keep the root in in between left subtree and right subtree okay so that means you know in, in order travel so we, whenever we, st we will start from from root and then if there is a subtree then we will move to that subtree okay so we, we will get to the last subtree we got it right so here then this is the sub root right so then here in order that means we will put this subtree between or in the left root left child and right side so what will be here so d then b and e okay now we pa we completed the left subtree then we have left subtree right subtree and root so then always root will be in between so this we have done this side so d b e then we will go for a and then c so that means that the trick is that the concept is that a root will be in between for in, in order traversal okay similarly for pre order traversal the root will be printed or considered first so which on every root whenever we say root we consider first for pre order traversal that means a will come first <coughs> so then we will come left subtree then b will come first and then again <coughs> from left to right a b d e and c okay why e and b so i will first e first root and then sub root b and then <coughs> there will be no sub root so here b and e so this side are done and also roots are done that this root and sub roots these are done and then right so a b a b d e c okay now the now the last one is post order so as it refers that the post that means uh, post order means that the root will be the last one okay so then what we will do consider whenever we get a root we will skip it so we will skip it we'll, then we will go left side we will skip it then 
post order that means this root will come last so then what el what else will come first the side and the left side and the right side that means the children so d e d and then now what c and a okay so i'm confused about here about a because here <coughs> So we will skip A because the root will be considered later and also skip B it will be considered later so we will go D E D C A okay you will get some quiz questions from this okay so now these are the algorithm okay how do we traverse this so this is the algorithm this is the in order algorithm and then it has uh, so if you see in order algorithm right so which one will come first okay so that means two then this five the root will be inside two five five then six right and then there is no child over here then seven and then eight Yes, so then but now let us analyze the this algorithm so so in this algorithm there is no looping it's straightforward right so then how many times we need to walk through okay we need to we need to move from maximum n times right in order to uh, traverse all elements we need to go n times so the mm, uh, walk time will be and we go n by nature actually okay this is true for all uh, uh, traverse uh, process either pre order or post order or uh, uh, in order okay but uh, the bsd the traversal of bsd it, it, it depends on uh, on the height uh, the tree so sometime if the tree is a, a, a is, is not a balanced tree so this is a balanced tree right so it is is, is balanced tree and this is imbalanced tree so this is pretty balanced but not in the not completely balanced okay so in that case for instance if it is not balanced just so then it maximum height can be mm, big o n right so if in this side is null and then this element and then the right side this uh, enters sub, sub g and the right side enters sub g right side enters sub g and then there is no left sub g okay so this is imbalanced so this it, it, uh, so a height and so in that case it B going in uh, B go in will be the worst case, but here in this case, okay. So every time it is it is splitting in half, right? So this is why L N L G. So B go L G N is the best case for uh, or for average case. Okay. okay so. Uh, there are three common operations for BSD that means one is delete operation and search operation and, uh, and insertion operation okay search insertion and delete operation okay so in order to do a search operation we need to traverse the array right so to find an, an element okay so these are the Uh, this is the pseudo code and this is uh, in insertion pseudo code. So actually, I want to do uh, with the live program. Let me see implementation of uh, BSD. Okay. So now let us see how many uh, slides we do have. There are a few more slides. So let us complete the slides and then we will go live program. Okay.
so delete uh, operation is is tricky sometimes also succession operation also is tricky so because to delete a node in a tree there are three case you need to consider first one the node to be deleted is leave has then if it will leave that means it has no no children then it's easy to delete okay and if the node has only one child then it's then it's pretty easy okay but then if the node to be deleted has two children then it is 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 the most significant and difficult one to consider but okay so here for instance the case a that in, uh, if you want to delete a node that has no child so for instance this one if you want to delete this one 39 node with 39 or 14 then easy right just delete it so delete it that's okay then it's easy that means delete it right? now if the element we want to delete uh, okay the node we want to delete if it has one side so here what we have then for instance in that case it will have two connections right one with the, the parent and another with the child because only one child okay so then what we'll do so then it will so then deletion of the deletion this child will go up and this child will be connected with his grand grandparent right so the grandparent will be his, his parent Uh, in other way we can see that this this if is child this child will be lifted up by one level so it was level level three then it will go to level two so here and then the, the third and most critical uh, uh, condition is that the not to be deleted if it has two children okay you cannot have more than two children because we are discussing values first three so then in that case the nodes are errands in order to ascending keys and then for search mm, for each node the node with the next height key is called the successor and we need to successor at this point we need to understand successor and, and predecessor okay uh, let us come here so here for instance we want to delete delete the key uh, the node with with value a key 25 right so then question will come this this node will come here or this node will come over here so because it has two two children right on the left and on the right okay so in this case here the we, we visually see that if we move this node over here then we, 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 it will be uh, uh, adjusted and there is no problem but as in that case actually we need to consider the arrangement okay if, if the arrangement is okay then follow the arrangement then we can do this okay so in order to do that actually we need to consider the successor okay uh, and then actually then then we need to find the successor the rule how to find the successor 
A successor actually is a note with the next highest key okay that has no left child okay so for instance 40 30 starting from this note okay we want to find the successor of this note for instance is go to the right child okay because we need the highest value right so that means we need to go right then okay this is uh, and go left because this is also also greater than than the 38 right so we don't need to go right side so this left side and also the all of this value and we will consider that we will stop at the point that has no left child okay so 41 has no left child right so then actually what we are getting we are getting the minimum value we are getting the minimum value okay that is greater than the node this is called the successor okay so by get by finding the successor we are getting the minimum value okay so please remember this and then we will get some quiz questions or test questions from this how to find successor So what do we need to do? We need to find uh, in order to delete this node. Okay, we need to find the successor over here. Okay, so here so we need to find the successor. That successor will take take this this place. Okay, so so for 25, what is the successor of 25? We go so any value that is greater than the right side value that is the minimum value the right side is successor right so then we will go 35 then left side is 30 30 will be the successor of 25 so the 30 will come over here okay this this age will be delinked so then 30 will come over here so then you see that 30 and then 35 and 40 will be as is okay that means we need to replace this value by its successor then we this value will be deleted right okay so so in order to uh, do a delete operation okay the running time what is the running time of uh, delete operation is big O H right so we are we are moving from H moving H height to the uh, so the tree and it's up tree okay and in the worst case so if our tree is is not good order then it will be big n but if it is in the scale of uh, this this balance tree then it will be you know that h equal to big o log n in c n okay so this almost these are the slides so now uh, let me go to the book and the book has in detail about this okay so book has uh, successor and predecessor actually successor okay so, 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 here I forgot to so 30 is the successor of 25 that means 25 is the predecessor of 30 okay okay so to this one okay practice this one you will get some some test questions or uh, some uh, uh, assignment from these exercises okay and insertion and deletion operations are there actually we will not go through 
uh, in depth implementation okay and actually what I have to do in a few more minutes then I want to uh, to discuss the implementation of BST okay so if you go to my repeat account okay then I have uh, BST implementation example 1 in C sharp and I have the same program in uh, Java also okay so if you understand this so I think you can implement uh, BST in any other programming language that you like okay so here is a let us understand uh, how this uh, uh, BST implementation in C sharp. Okay, C sharp. So here, as usual, the node class, right? So node class, it has data. Okay, it contains integer type data, and it contains also node itself and the left node and right node. Okay, so and then we have its constructor. Okay, that takes only one field okay this one and then pre constructor whenever it, it creates a constructor take the data and also it makes a left left and right uh, nodes with null value okay and this is the BST class it has the implementation of all uh, all the methods So let us see that how many methods it has and how the BST class is organized. So BST it has root one node is called root, and then it has is is, is constructor, and then is empty method, and then is empty method is very simple, right? How can I say that a BST is empty if root equal to null, right? If root value equal to null, that means uh, we can say that. Mm, <coughs> is empty okay and then insertion operation okay so the insertion operation it goes uh, it calls insert is a recursive method okay so recursive method it calls okay so recursive function it calls with node and data because we need to insert in right position right so we need to uh, go traverse the, the BST and we need to go to right position and we need to put the value in right position so this is the uh, insertion okay this is the insert operation method okay and it calls itself another uh, recursive method okay and uh, this is the uh, in order traversal method in order traversal method actually it's in order traversal route so this is the traversal in order in order is the method and you see that one thing that i want to make attention about here so for in order traversal we know that we put the node in between left and right side so the, the in order traversal we call uh, we call the left root first and we put the so for instance we have our print operation over here we put uh, whatever we want to print put or consider the middle the root in the middle so the left and then then left child and right and then we put the uh, print operation in the middle and similarly for tree order traversal we will put the right operation first then t means right operation is node is first and then then left node and right node and similarly for po post order we will go left node right node and then right operation at the end okay and similarly the insert operation we need to find call the delete so delete operation we need to call the delete operation recursively okay so in order to delete the right no 
okay and so for instance this this is the end of bsp class end of bsp class it starts in line number 16 and it ends in line number 100 end of end of bsp class So now here we have now main class and we have a main method over here. So we have kind of a word over here. So then what is stands we want to create a BST. We have to create a BST in the following as like this. Okay, for it will be root then tool then okay. So then how do we insert? 40 20 and then 10 30 40 20 10 30 and then we'll go 60 and then 50 and then 70 okay so then we do in order traversal then in order traversal we will see let, let us see this let us see this if we call in our traversal method and pre border and post border so we should run this program so what is the in order traversal in order means so then the root will be in between right so here in order what is the 10 20 30 and then 40 then 50 60 and 70 okay one trick for the in order traversal is that it will be in assembly order okay and then similarly we have pre-order traversal output over here pre-order means 40 then 20 right and then 10 then 30 and then 60 50 and 70 okay and what is the post order traversal will be post order traversal we need to consider we need to bring the root last right so over here so we will skip this we will skip this then we will say 10 30 20 okay then we are done over here, we will skip this and we will skip this, then 50, 70, then 60 and then 40. Ok, so this is the implementation in BST implementation in uh, C sharp. Ok, so I have a few more course over here you can follow and you can practice how to delete for instance if you want to delete a if you want to delete a node 50 let me see Oops. so if you want to delete the node 50 right so what will happen after deleting 50 then in order traversal okay uh, after deleting I think there is a mistake over here, it's not working. Okay, for now let us skip it. Okay, and similarly it has uh, the Java implementation is pretty sim simple and similar. Okay. Sorry, I may have internet uh, issue with my phone. So, uh, 
that's all for now so please what i would like to like you to do please read the book chapter and go through the slides go through the slides i will post these slides in uh, in detail and again i'm using uh, dr lee's um, slide and i would like to thank her for using and let me use using her slide okay thank you so much and have a good day bye bye